Hey guys, it's Uh, back with another math video. Today we're gonna be uh doing USAMO, but I thought it's uh I think USAMO and USJMO are around uh around equivalent level. I'm not sure because I've never taken them, but I think doing some USAMO is good prep for both well USAMO and USAJMO. So uh, take a look at the problem. I provided a diagram to make things easier. Um. Take a little problem and see if you can solve it. Okay, well it's a geometry problem and there's usually two ways you can tackle this. You can tackle it with trigonometry or without trigonometry. And uh, I usually try to tackle geometry questions without trigonometry because for one I hate trigonometry with a passion. But if you look at the solution in our problem solving without trigonometry, it's it's not viable. Like. I'm too lazy to do this crap, so we're going to try the with trigonometry uh, solution, and the only trigonometry you really need to know for this problem is law of cosines, and law of cosines, uh, for all of you who don't know, we'll just do a quick review. Uh, law of cosines states c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine theta. That's law of cosines. So we're going to be using that in this problem, and really this is the only trigonometry you need to know. This problem actually isn't that hard if you use trigonometry. Uh, it's pretty simple for a USA of all problem 4. And I'll show you why. So we have to uh, we have to see whether or not it's possible for segments A, B, A, C, B, I, I, D, C, I, I, E, to have all integer lengths. So let's assume a few things. Let's assume, let's assume that C, I, B I uh A C and A B have integer lengths. So assuming that C I B I and A C and A B have integer lengths, let's try to use a uh, law of cosines to find B C. Um and we know that uh the angle between uh angle B I C uh equals 135 degrees. Let's try to find BC. And we first, before doing this, you have to notice that BC squared equals AC squared plus AB squared. So if we if we if we pretend that ABC and AB uh, are both integers, and um, yeah, and a, then BC squared has to be an integer. BC itself doesn't necessarily have to be an integer, but BC squared most definitely has to be an integer. So. <clears throat> Let's get right on to it. So B C squared, that was just C in this uh law of cosines thing, is just A B squared plus uh A C squared minus two A B A C cosine one thirty five. Scroll down a bit. And thus uh what do we think? Oh yeah. So B C squared equals a B squared plus A C squared minus uh A B A C times um I think it's uh oh yeah plus sorry plus A B times square root two and this is because you just sub in uh cosine one thirty five equals negative square root two over two. So this is the case, I just subbed it in, I just cancelled stuff out, and then you reduce it to uh, square root 2 equals bc squared minus ab squared minus ac squared over ab times ac. So let's look at this for a sec. bc squared has to be an integer. Okay, we know that. bc squared has to be an integer. If we assume that these are, tr if we assume that all these have integer side lengths, okay. <coughs> AB squared has to be an integer. AC squared has to be an integer. AB times AC, since they're both integers, has to be an integer. So if all this crap, everything is integers, they're all integers, then how the heck can this quotient be square root two? So thus, not every number in the right hand side can be an integer 
I'm just trying to like show you guys without lining the proof here. Therefore, a uh, one of C I B I A C A B must uh not frick I'm running out of room be an integer. So we just proved it. It's impossible. Now, uh, notice that uh, there are a few red herrings in here. We didn't need IE. Nope. We didn't need uh, we didn't need ID. Nope. But looking at this problem, you may have thought, oh crap. IE ID. This is, is going to be a hard problem. No, we didn't need any of that. All we needed was some simple trigonometry, and to know that. Uh, it's impossible for uh, all four of these to be an integer, and thus this can't be true. These can't all have integer links. It was a pretty simple problem, um, but a lot of these problems can be intimidating. I mean, it's USA. Oh, problem four. Like it's supposed to, it's supposed to be extremely hard, and they sort of do that to get you into this mindset that there. Are, yes, there has to be a complex solution. I shouldn't even try law of cosine. It's too easy. It won't help. But Sometimes the solution turns out really simple. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. Uh, have a nice day. Minus 1, 2 to the a minus 3 minus 1, 2 to the a minus 4 minus 1. These are the only numbers for which this function is odd. These are the only ones. So anything in between 2 to the a uh, minus 4 minus 1, 2 to the a minus 3, this area, there's no f, there's no number for which fn is even. Only these numbers under this. If on, these are the only ones that are odd under 2 to the a minus 1 minus 1, then we want to prove that 